The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation now offering a $52,500 reward. It has gone up in yeah. just the last 30 minutes. This for any information to help them find a missing inmate out of West Tennessee, the one who prompted a blue alert last night. 44-year-old Curtis Watson is considered a suspect now in the death of a corrections employee. The woman's body found at the prison yesterday on the premises there. Staff noticing the same day that Watson was missing from his work detail. TBI sharing more about their investigation this afternoon. New report of the UAT 6 on your side reporter Laura Holm breaking down now what we've learned. Laura. Well the state saying today investigators have been working non-stop without rest to find this escaped inmate. Now the state prison escape plan was triggered yesterday. TBI saying they shifted resources from all over the state to West Tennessee to track down Mr. Watson. At this point TBI says they're working with the uh, DA to obtain warrants on homicide. Investigators saying Watson is now a suspect in the death of corrections employee Deborah Johnson. So far, investigators say there have been no credible sightings, but they've checked all potential leads and information. Make no mistake, we need Tennesseans to be vigilant. Uh, we need folks in this state and particularly in the region where this occurred. Um, to report any and all information to local law enforcement and to the TBI. Um, this, this man is considered extremely dangerous and we need to find him. Now there are roadblocks close to the prison to help that community in the State Department of Safety and Homeland Security. They're providing strike teams. Strike teams are also on standby and aviation support for this manhunt. Guys. All right, Laura, thank you again. This search prompted what is called a blue alert. Now, many of you got notifications on your phones, including a loud ringing sound. The information has also been across the state on TDOT billboards. TBI telling us a blue alert is activated if and when a sworn law enforcement officer is killed or seriously injured, when the suspect poses an imminent threat to public safety, and when police have a detailed description of the suspect or the vehicle involved. We'll keep you updated.